Hello, I'm Aaron Marino from Alpha M Image Consulting. All right, so today I'm going to teach you, show you uh, what I do in order to maintain my eyebrows, how to groom my eyebrows. Uh, maybe you can take some of the tips or tricks and apply them to yourself. Why are we taking care of our eyebrows? Who really cares, right? Mm -mm, wrong. Uh, we've all seen women that have crazy eyebrows that don't do anything to their eyebrows. Don't pluck them, don't groom them, nothing. Ugh, not good. Same thing with guys. I see a guy and he's got humongous, crazy, bushy, overgrown eyebrows. I'm like, <laughs> good luck, brother. Anyway, I'm not going to be that guy and neither are you. So let's first start by uh, talking about the full, four tools that you're going to need in order to manage and groom your eyebrows. First tool, pretty common, tweezers. pair of high quality tweezers. You can get these at any pharmacy or drugstore, $5. Um, no problem, right? Everybody's got those, or you should. Next thing you're going to need, a pair of small scissors. If you don't have real small scissors, if you've got like barber scissors, they'll work just fine. You just don't want big scissors because you can't really control them that well. Next thing, a fine tooth comb. Now, they do sell eyebrow brushes. Um, you can find them. I think if you've got a girlfriend, she's probably got one. You could go buy your own. I just use standard brush, a little more masculine. Next thing, pencil or something straight. Why the pencil? Well, let me explain if I may. All right, the pencil. What's it for? Basically, this is to find where your eyebrow needs to start and stop. Also, if you're going to put any type of dimension or give your eyebrow a little shape, maybe a slight arch in it, that's what the pencil or something straight is used for. All right, where does your eyebrow need to start on your face? Basically, take that straight pencil or whatever pen, put it on the side of your nose, Go straight up. That's where your eyebrow needs to start. Not in here, not over here, straight up. All right? Simple. Next, where does your eyebrow need to end? Take that pencil, basically find the end of your eye, keep it next to your nose. That's where your eyebrow needs to end. If you've got hairs coming all the way down your face, you need to take it up a little bit. All right, lastly, where are you going to put that arch? We've all seen guys that, or women even, that overpluck their eyebrows, put too much arch, make it too thin. It looks ridiculous. You're going to take that pencil, put it in the center of your nose, find where your iris or that little black dot is on your eye, run it straight up, okay? That is where the arch is going to go in your eyebrow. Simple, right? No problem. So now you know where your eyebrow needs to start, stop, and arch. Now, what's next? Tweezing. So, let me get my tweezers. All right, got your tweezers. Now, first, first thing you should attack, the center. Let's get all those fine little hairs that grow in there. All right, you need good lighting when you're doing your eyebrows. The best place I find that uh, I get the best lighting is actually in my car. But I wouldn't recommend, you know, at the stoplight plucking your eyebrows. Uh-uh. <laughs> You look like a retard, and it's not safe. Find a parking a space or a parking lot where there aren't a lot of people around, or do it in your bathroom at home. Just make sure there's good lighting. So you're going to tweeze any unwanted hair, defining where that eyebrow is going to start. Okay? You're also going to pluck where it needs to end, and then take that eyebrow and clean up underneath your eye. Everybody look closely. You've got all these little stray fine hairs underneath your eye. Okay? If nothing else, if you don't want to do a drastic arch like I have, then just clean up those little stray hairs. It's going to give you a crisper, cleaner look. So I'm going to go finish up my plucking, and then the next step, trimming. Be right back. And I'm back. I've plucked everything that was unwanted or stray hairs. Now, one thing I forgot to mention, look on the side of your face next to your eyebrows. You know, a lot of times you'll get stray hairs that stretch out past the, the defined eyebrow. Get those as well. Uh, but next, what we're going to need, that brush I told you about and those little scissors. What you're going to do now, as we age, we get crazy long hairs our eyebrows will start to grow. You'll get stragglers that are like an inch long. It's nuts. One day I, I looked and I was like, oh my God, I'm an old man. <laughs> oh well, let's take care of that. Get the brush, your eyebrow. What you're going to do is against the grain, you're going to lift it up, okay? You're going to see there are extra long hairs right there. You're just going to get your little scissors and trim them. Do that all the way around your eyebrow. making sure that your eyebrow has a nice good shape. Go back through it, 
Get some of those long ones. Yeah, is this a little gross? <laughs> Sorry, you asked for it. Well, maybe you didn't. Anyway, you're going to do that. Both eyebrows. If you want to, you can brush it down also. If you see extra long hairs, like, whoop, there's one. I'm going to get that. <laughs> Take care of it, okay? When you're done, brush it over. It's going to look beautiful. Do that to both eyebrows. I've got to do my other eyebrow, and I'll be right back. And we're all done. Your eyebrows now look perfect. Or they, actually, here's a good point. Your eyebrows don't need to be exactly symmetrical. Most people's are not. Uh, somebody called me out and said, hey, you've got crazy unsymmetrical eyebrows. I said, that's all right, brother. Eyebrows are not supposed to be twins. They're supposed to be brothers. They're supposed to resemble each other, but if they're a little different, it's no big deal. Most people don't have eyebrows that grow exactly the same. Uh, the closer you get to symmetrical, the better, but obviously, you can't always do that. Now, when you're plucking your eyebrows or trimming your eyebrows, how often should you do it? I would suggest once every, you know, three days. Take a look in the mirror, see if those hairs are starting to grow back. If they are, get them and you won't have to do as much as you did the first time. It's also a great time when you do your eyebrows, trim those nose hairs. Let's make sure everything's coming together, not just one thing or the other thing, everything together. So anyway, I hope this wasn't too gross, <laughs> but, and I hope you got something out of it. If you have any questions, um, please send them my way. I'd be happy to help you out. Uh, the next video, we're going to talk about guys and wearing undershirts and t-shirts that show. <sighs> I'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.